I told him it's the real money in the room. Well, well at some point um, in the 90s, you started rapping. Yeah, uh, I used to really just be the, the that, you know, run around the hood and, and rap. You know what oh. I'm saying? I ain't want to do nothing but just, you know, rap. You know what I'm saying? I, I always had a dream to do it for real, you feel me? Because, you know, music, and we, that's what we grew up on, you feel me? So, like, around about, I'd say about 14, I'm about 14, around about 9'4", you know what I'm saying, 94, 95. I, you know, so I ran to Dindin, Din, man, nigga named Dennis Waddell, man. He was one of the older niggas in our hood, you know what I'm saying, on wood fans. Dennis, uh, Q, mother. You know, Terrence, Lil Kevin, uh, Mario, Tote, my brother Too Tall, Dunshay, Shorty. Yeah, Shorty, yeah, Shorty, man, you know, Glenn Ray, E, Big Rob, you know what I'm saying? What up, Big Rob? You know what I'm saying? Got they was uh, the oldest in my hood, you feel me? Right, well, right, right, right. I was the youngest because, like, I was damn near the last until the day my little partner, the day started coming in. He was the youngest, but at that, we was just the, that the youngest at the time. Right. It wasn't no more young come out that bitch from like '95 to like '97, '98. Big Raw, them was having that money and having all them slabs. And shit, you know what I'm saying? My brother, them pulling out, man. And we was the youngest. You feel me? So like, keep me on track. I was gonna ask you. This ain't the same, Lil Mario. Nah, 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 Reno. Nah, Reno. Nah, that's my Reno. Nah, 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 Around that time, so uh, yeah, Din Din was the CEO of this record yeah, label. Yeah, he was, was, he, was, was a record a, label. Uh, yeah, he was the CEO of Straight Profit. Straight Profit. Yeah, Straight Profit. Yeah, that so. was a big label back then. Yeah, we. Yeah. Hey, hey, pass me that uh that the Revanche. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Want to take a shot? Yeah. I yeah. say that, Revanche. That, that Revanche, man. Mm -hmm. That Revanche. Mm -hmm. That Revanche. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, supposed to say? You supposed to hit that hole? Oh man, you supposed to hit that hole? Punch. Yeah, no, for real, for sure, man. Missed the punch because I had too much revenge. Yeah, <laughs> man, we go. Uh, for sure. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Sponsored by revenge, man. Shout, Shout out to the management. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, girl, we can pull up. Not so, that me. So I'm pull up. Right Cool. Well, solo yeah. try to get the shot at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and by '95, hey, no, I was a young, I was a young man. Uh, yeah. I really ain't. I really was doing a bunch of big dope setting like that. You feel me? I really wasn't doing a bunch of big dope, big dope setting like that. I was just running around getting the front from everybody I can and not paying nobody back. Just because, just because. You know what I'm saying? Cause it would, would, would. Yeah. Right. You feel me? <laughs> I, if I ask you for a little quarter or something and say you want to bring your money, baby, you know you ain't getting no money back, man. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be giving me no dope, no way, nigga. I ain't number fourteen years old, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah. So then, then one of them, man, used to give me dope and shit. I ain't no bring no money back. I used to get caught out there on the south west and you know, used to let me sleep in his eyes, everything, sleep on the couch, bun, uh, 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 bad, be mad in the mother. They were yeah. trying to run me out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but the oh yeah. Nah, not the bell. Oh. Um, battery. You didn't, 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 why? Oh, you know yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She be mad, the, the motherfucker, yeah. trying to run me oh, out, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, over oh, the years, they figured out that I was just, I feel like they, they you know, it wasn't shit. But, yeah, 9-9, nah, nah, you know, then then got the fuck around and run up on me at all. Uh, and stop and go and shit. And I was telling me, well, I had already heard the little music they had started putting out. Straight profit uh, compilation and all that other shit. But he ran up on me and stopped and go and asked me, you know what I'm saying? Told me, actually told me, man, come to the studio. We're going to put you on this youngster album. We're going to put this youngster album, Mike. Come to the studio. And you know, I got a little demo and shit. I was around just, uh, this gangster named Chrome, man, he used to do my productions. And I had some uh, songs on there, which was the song that I put on uh, Youngster album, that Baller for Position. That's the first, first song on Youngster album. I'm the first rapping on that song. Yeah. I ended up giving that song to Youngster, but I had that song on my demo. So anyway, he caught, told me to come up to the to the yo, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was just 19, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was out the blue. I ain't know nothing about no business. I ain't know nothing about no doing no business. 
I'm gonna stop right there. See, my thing is this here, right? I'm trying, I, I, I'm pushing the label right now. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and my thing is gonna be this, man. When I do anything with any type of new dude or artist or whatever, I'm gonna make sure they understand the, the language that's in these motherfucking contracts. I'm gonna make sure they understand how they not, how not to get. You dig what I'm saying? Before we do any business, I'm gonna tell them how not to get by me. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, really. You know, and I'm and, and that's 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 my thing. That's what I wanna do. You dig what I'm saying? Which was it the fucking case, you know what I'm saying? With this it. You feel me? Right. So like Tell me come to the studio, so like two days later, I end up, well now, nah, matter of fact, I ain't never go. So like two weeks later, I see Grace, I see DJ Screw, RP DJ Screw, Din Din. HIP Grace too. HIP Matt Grace, man, my yeah. baby, man. God damn. I see Grace, I see Din Din, I see uh, Screw, they in Stop and Go. You know, DNA, uh, yeah. they introduced me to Screw that first time I meet Screw. So, goddamn. So, so, so this record label, uh, give me the name of the record label. Straight Profit. Straight, Straight Profit is uh, like a, like, you know, we got, we always hear about Screwed Up Click. You know what I'm saying? We don't really hear about the subsequent record <laughs> yeah, labels yeah, yeah. around the city at that time. You know what I'm saying? As far as the mainstream is concerned. Yeah. So this is around that time. It was that know? time. And they, and they were one of the rivals yeah. of Screwed Up Click. No, 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 uh -oh. no, no, no. See, the thing is, right? We was an uh, extension of the screw. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like you got the straight profit. Yeah. Like like I, like I'm finna say you got straight. Like a lot of issue C niggas, Rex Shop, straight profit. I mean, I uh, you Shop would was say Jam Grace, 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 Grace was screw. Grace was screw. Grace was Grace was Grace was screw. The most issue Youngster, Odyssey, Youngster was SUC. Grace was SUC. Uh, Wood, Wood zero. was SUC. Zero was SUC. And Wood, Tra and Wood. Wood. And they wood, were all wood, wood. Yeah, okay. wood issues. So we had a whole bunch of SUC. So SU, <laughs> SUC SUC screwed up click. Screwed up click, right. I, I was still, a lot of SUC, SUC members SUC, signed with straight private. Right. Exactly. Exactly. SUC exactly. was more of a click than it was a label. Exactly. Okay. It wasn't okay. no label, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, and so you could have SUC yeah, niggas yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a part yeah, of yeah, the. Yeah, yeah. Because that was their family. But yeah, the, the younger, exactly. and you were like one of the youngers coming in, and so the SUC was some older. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was, like, yeah, and I was getting, I was getting groomed low. So I was getting, yeah. I was being groomed yeah, yeah, by Grace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like that Grace, Grace from Woodfowl. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like these, them, I was seeing these every day in the dope house. We right. waking up and going to sleep together. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, these, we actually, but they was already signed. So it was only, it was only right that I signed with them. You know what I'm right. saying? It was only, more, and we a matter of time. So like, but the thing about it, like, bro, when I got up in there, like. The first night, bro, like I signed out for just my loyalty. You dig what I'm saying? I signed out for my loyalty, man. You, you understand what I'm saying? I'm 19 years old. Like 27, 28. For one, you, this 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 y'all studio, y'all done pay uptown. This this is well. Well, uh, well this, Jaime, Jaime this, was an engineer this, back then uh, all the time. And, and, and he, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this, yeah, and he. Yeah, he, this was where well, yeah, uh, Young, what are the, uh, the hot boys recording. Yeah, hot, hot boys came You know what I'm saying? Young Money? Like, I mean, nah, yeah, this, this was hot boys yeah, at the time. Yeah. They was hot boys. Before Cash Money. Yeah, it was Cash Money. Right, this, this, right. This, this, yeah, they they, they recorded yeah, this bitch on the record. They were using that, they were coming up to on Bel Air and Ramp over there with Ramp. Yeah, plenty of other motherfuckers. On that level, oh, we're recording okay. at the studio. Yeah. They got this studio yeah. book for the for, for the time being, nigga. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for cool. one, that just showed me okay what kind of bridge y'all y'all down there playing with. You know what I'm saying? Because these people ain't gonna waste their time. I I admit that they run it several times. You know what I mean? I don't know who you is. You ain't gonna pay. You gotta get the fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they done booked this. Book. We booked up. Ain't no coming back. We gotta worry about tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, come to work. Right. That was the mantra. You gonna be at work tomorrow? Uh, tonight is every day. We work. We doing the youngster album every day. Back to Prince. I go. I go up and I sign first day. Straight out of loyalty because I know you. I've been fucking right. with, been with you for five years, but those five years it was my kid years. Now, on warfare. That was my kid years. You very impressionable as a kid. Right. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you. Then then. You, I fuck with you. You told me come up here. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So boom, I come up in this bitch. 
you give me the sign of the paper. You tell me I'm going to give you three points off every song and a dollar when you drop your album. That's what you told me, so I'm going off loyalty. And it, you know what I'm saying? He's trying, first of all, let me say this, bro. Throughout this interview, I'm going to say some names. I'm going to bring some up. If I bring them up, they know who I am. They know how I rock out. So I ain't, we not doing none of that. We're not trying to start no sh with no niggas in. You know what I'm saying? Because really, only niggas I got any type beef with, we old niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and I'm pretty sure out of us two old I'm going to be the only nigga going to go out. I'm going to get out there. You dig what I'm saying? So, like, we ain't going to do none of that. I don't want no trouble with no nigga out here, bro. Thing about it, though, I'm going to say your motherfucking name, nigga. If you part of this motherfucking story, and that's just what it is. But bam, I'm very impressed yeah. as a kid. You dig what I'm saying? Because I know you, because you with my older brother, Dun Shay, man. Y'all yeah. his niggas. You feel me? Y'all his niggas. I was so young when I wasn't with him, I was in y'all custody. Right. Nah, get that. I was in y'all custody when my family wasn't around. Like literally staying out there, but I wasn't outside. But let's just talk real quick about the lineup of Straight Profit to really give people an understanding of how major of a situation yeah, this is at it, this time. It was, it was an epic lineup, man. I mean, if you look at it uh, from the outside, like from, from put that airplane. From my from my point of view, it wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying, Major, because I grew up with youngsters. You know what I'm saying? I knew Lil' James already. Uh, I grew up under Grace. I grew up under D&D. &D, you know. Well, and these people weren't who they ended up becoming, nah, right? They, like nah, Zero. Exactly. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you were on what? the Was it yeah, the King, King of the Ghetto? King of the Ghetto, yeah, me and The King of the Ghetto album. album. That's before... Um, that's before the I Found Me uh, um, no, 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 Pain. No, no, no. That came out. That came yeah. after. Yeah. Right. Yeah, pain, pain was on... Pain was on there, but uh, I found me was on uh, Zero Versus the World. Okay, when I got to, when I signed with them, right, uh -huh. so I'm going to just take you through, you know what I'm saying? Talking about classics. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, you know what I'm saying? Name. Okay, oh, wait, well, first part, before I go into it, I'm going to give you the lineup. You had Lil James, James Dugo, you had Lil Flex. Lil Flex was the other bird song, knocking Not pictures off the wall. Uh, you had Youngster, Young Star. <laughs> you had from not gonna, uh, from uh, from, wanna from be a bottom. Banging on your blind, not gonna be a bottom. Uh, but youngster from, from that, wanna be from wanna be a bottom. And from Mona Leo's hit song, See, her breakout song, which, that yeah, was that, a sample of youngster. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a bottom. Okay, youngster, little flex, second verse. I feel like, like, I make. Hey, cut that. You gotta go airplane mode, bro. Airplane, bro. So, okay, put it like this here. At that time, it was nine nine. Uh, damn, that nigga threw my motherfucking uh, Threw my mind my, my, uh, But see, by the time the album came out By the time the TYP came out I ain't gonna lie, didn't they? they damn, that every hot nigga out of a sign At the time on the album But like the actual roster You know, you know the actual nigga that was claiming mm -hmm. that The SP, the straight profit was like 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 we said like the SUC nigga was like Wood, you Grace, Lowe's, Youngster from uh, Wanna Be a Bowler, Kool Aid, yeah. Uh, this was the Woody TY, Wood was this was, was, this was the TYP little click uh, that was supposed to be on uh, with Youngster. They was the younger dudes on the record label. Oh, young yeah. players. The older yeah. dudes was Grace, Solo D, Wood, uh, Nile. See, now I was on the label. Cool, bro. Zero wasn't there yet. I'm not gonna say zero. You had then you had the young and you had then in it. Then you had my brother, Shorty, Shorty D. Uh, then you had the youngsters that was supposed to be TYP to throw a young player the right. click with with youngster come out. He was on all over his album. And Kool Aid, James, Lil James. You had Lil Flex that was on. Um, Knocking like pictures off the wall. You had youngster. With young, you had youngster, which was just just dropped. This, this is what I was gonna say. The major key, like DJ Kelly say, youngster had just came out, set of two million off that wanna be a baller. 
They can say it's Lil Trust song. They can say Lil Trust song out of their window. That was a youngster song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a youngster song. Yeah, right. And I got to move on. Yeah, yeah. Now the picture. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. And then he was out high from the original June 27. So. So he dropped an album a year, a year, year and a half later. You know what I'm saying? He was already hot. You got feel chill what I'm saying? Show, hot. So you had right. so so that's why they was so adamant at, at pushing Youngstar at first. Right. Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? He 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 was hot. You feel me? So that's why the uh, the knock of pictures off the wall come out. You know what I'm saying? That was his single came out with Lil Flex, which is that's Lil Flex. That's not Youngstar. On the second yeah, verse. Everybody that then argued me down. I told you, I'm in the jail high. Nigga that argued me down that that was Youngster on that whole song. That is not Youngster on the whole song. That is Lil Flex. But, uh, on the second verse. On the second verse. Yeah, so anyway, at that time, I fuck around and count. When, when Youngster dropped the, uh, the, 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 what's the name of that whole <laughs> Throw Young Player. Throw Young Player album. Youngster dropped Throw Young Player. I'm, I'm really skipping all over the place. I'll probably be talking about the goddamn when I signed for these niggas. So we're going to go back to that. You know what I'm saying? I signed on the first day out of, out of law. Back, back to this here. That's what we really own. That was the, yeah, the I man. just wanted to, people to understand. Yeah, I'm going to go out As too. a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like what you're seeing. You exactly. Know what I mean? and, like, and it was out of control. It was some shit that I, I didn't witness. I wasn't witnessing in no running around the hood on no every day basis. Like these, the, the, like these niggas were playing with some money. Went over there, you feel me? So I wasn't there. I ain't never been no nigga that like I had. Oh, big old, big old dreams. I just want. Oh, I just want to rap. I just want to rap. You know what I'm saying? That was my everyday objective. You know what I'm saying? I want to sell dope. You know what I'm saying? Figure out how to sell more dope. But nigga, you came and grabbed me out the streets and bring me into y'all world. You dig what I'm saying? Two times. I I, I said I was coming the first night and I didn't come the second time. I. I, I fuck around and y'all, I caught y'all, that was the night with screwed them. I caught you, I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and go up there. <sighs> Matter of fact, I didn't go that night. It was a third time, youngster, fat boy, uh, from Trey, fat boy, Solo D, uh, and, and fat boy cousin, they pull up on me. Fat boy had the camera then. Mm -hmm. Pull up on me, and, and, and uh, uh, I was on Do Champ, uh, in, in the garden. Uh, Terror guard. I'm standing up in there. They come, uh, my little bitch coming in, to get me out the hive. You know what I'm saying? Say, so youngster, them out there, come outside. This the third time them niggas came and got me. So now it's youngster, them come and get me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Be like, bitch, what's up, man? Come get in the car, come to us. We finna go to the studio tonight. You know what I'm saying? So I met youngster on sand pipe in '95. You know what I'm saying? My auntie was over there. You know what I'm saying? She's doing a little smoke and she stayed over there. I met him in '95. So we been knew each other. Yeah, you feel me? So, uh, yeah, I. Go out there, so you know, I, I'm like, man, all right, man, let's go, man. I'm gonna get in the car, I'm, I'm gonna go. That same night, right? Law pulled in behind a nigga car. They about to take my bitch ass jail, cause I'm not even supposed to be on the property. They already <laughs> told me my name ain't on the lease, I need to be off the property. They done pulled me outside, they all see me, they about to take me down, you know what I'm saying? We sitting on, this is just a quick story, we sitting on the, on the, you know, on the car, hands on the car. The, the, the white law go search the car. The black law standing there, nigga, Get, guess what come on the radio? <laughs> on the real ball. <laughs> <laughs> you also stand the radio with me. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be a ball come on. So Solo like, man, I told you, bro, we just trying to go make music, bro. That's him on the radio right there. So the, 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 this a young black dude. You know what I'm mean? saying? He like. You're talking he, about this Solo. Nah, well, nah, I'm talking about Solo D. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solo D was older than us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, he was Grace. Right hand, you know what I'm saying? But that's my nigga, he from Woodfell. So uh he like, yeah, that, that's that's youngster. He like, yeah, he like, man, stop lying. He like, yeah, that's me, man. We show him some some CDs and shit, you know what I'm saying? He like, oh, that's what's up, man. So he like, so y'all finna take him to the studio? Like, yeah, we finna take him to the studio, man. We trying to get him away from over here, man, you know what I'm saying? So the loud come back, the white loud come back and shit, they go running it on him and shit. Like, he like, shit. He like, man, I don't give a damn. I'm finna take your ass to jail. You ain't supposed to be over here. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, make long story short, they end up letting me go. He like, man, I'll come back over here. So that it, that's a, that's a, that's the memory I, I got from the first night, nigga. Which should, it should have been a, a sign. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I get up there, nigga. The first night, me and Black One, we signed. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh man. 
Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. Black yeah. One. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Black One. We signed. We signed. First night. You know what I'm saying? Back to back. Sign the paper. But you already told me what this shit supposed to consist of. You then then you my you my big homie. I don't, I don't say, I don't know nothing about this shit. You feel me? I'm in your custody right now, nigga. Down there, nigga. I'm still down. I'm 19, but nigga, this was 99. We wasn't fast like these young niggas fast these days. Right. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have this we was still in a young, we was still in a young man's place, man. Right. You feel me? Looking up to the OGs and them niggas had the information, so they wasn't. If you ain't shared information with me, my nigga, then you cheated me. Right. There wasn't no internet back then. It wasn't none of that shit. Mm-hmm. You ain't no. Know how to break into the music business and none of that shit. None of that. Nobody told a nigga you have to be on ASCAP or BMI or none of that shit. Nigga, you got to sign. Yeah, nobody told none of that shit. You feel me? I was so bad. I signed out of law. I signed out of law. So boom. Shit jump. Nigga dropped the uh, knocking pictures after a while. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, uh, first, okay, the album dropped. My song, Ballin' for Position, the song that I had on, on the demo. You know what I'm saying? Youngster wanted it. You know, so like, man, I want, I want you to let me get that song, man. You can, you can, you can get on, you can rap first. I just want to get on the verse. You gonna start the album off with that whole, whoa, 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 yeah. All right. What was it? So when you say he wanted it, like, what does that look like? Like he, that look, that look like you. T- you know, what I'm saying at the end of the day, it looked like you told me I get three points off every song. See, this is what then the private information that he gave me, man. And put you, man, nigga, get these niggas these songs, nigga. So. You gonna get three points off of them. You gonna get three points off every, like a point at the time, probably about two, six, seven cent, eight cent. You know what I'm saying? Three points times, let's say five yeah. cent. Fuck. Yeah. Three points, fifteen cent. If you sold a million motherfucking copies, nigga, what's fifteen percent? Shit. Do the math. Yeah, let me pull out the calculator. You dig what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. so, so, like, that's what you told me I would get. I wasn't, I wasn't ever gonna put out no album. Because I was selling too much dope and they wasn't gonna put no money behind me. He literally <laughs> told me that. You feel what I'm saying? I went to jail too much. So yeah, he told yeah, me yeah, that, but like he was like, shit. You feel me? 150,000. 150,000. That's what, hey, uh, three points. You feel That's for one song. But that's, but that's. Google. And that's for one song. The record says to throw your player album. Like, how much, what did the TYP album sell? Throw so, your player. So, uh, yeah, so I, I gave him the song. You know, about a position or whatever, it's me. Then youngster come on that motherfucker and then solo, solo D come on, you know what I'm saying? Then they do some more songs in between. Get to the uh knocking pitches off the wall. On 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 go. I go in that bitch and youngster doing that bitch. Youngster stay in that motherfucking booth, nigga, from twelve o'clock to eleven o'clock all the way to motherfucking two thirty in the morning to do that one verse. That's why you hear at the end of that bitch when he feel, he say, that's it. <laughs> Ride blowing B sipping up. Listen to the next time you say, he gonna say that's it. Cause it was literally that was it. Uh, yeah. And that nigga was not going back in that bitch. That nigga come up in there, man. That nigga then then like, man, you got a second verse? You like, shit, man, I freestyle that bitch. Then they like, nah, we ain't gonna do no freestyle. He's looking at me. I'm the only other nigga sitting in that bitch. He was like, you got a verse for this bitch? I was like, hell yeah, I got a verse for that bitch. I went right up in that bitch. I did a verse. But the next day I came back, Lil Flex was on that bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mastermind. Sound just like it. That's your second verse. That's your second verse, you know what I'm saying? And I'm and I say that, that that he was I feel like he was fully intending for that shit to sound like youngster because you know what I'm saying but it's still flip flex yeah. though you yeah. feel me you trying to push the flex off youngster image you know what I'm saying then then was a fool he was a fool he was a motherfucker you know what I'm saying he he probably still is but that nigga there he had it already and he ain't get that information out you feel me yeah fair. album drop you know what I'm saying I end up being on three songs on the album the last the last song uh. Me, Lil Fee, Lil Rod, Shorty D. Out of sight, out of mind. Shorty D and R.P. Black One, you know what I'm saying? Out of sight, out of mind. I'm the last nigga on the album. So, boom, I'm the first nigga rapping on Youngster album. I'm the last nigga rapping on Youngster album. Only thing that I want to say to you, Youngster, the only thing I want to say, man, listen. As you said on um, the interview with Big Homie from South Park, rap with Coalition. South Park Coalition. What was his name? The big homie rapper Coalition got the got the, got the podcast. Oh, K Reno. K Re- K Reno. You said on, on on the podcast that when you signed with Straight Prop, well, when you when you start fucking with Straight Prop, your money was a little bit too big. It was a little big, too big to sign with Straight Prop. 
So therefore, nigga, y'all was running CEO status together. So at the end of the day, nigga, if I give you some of my songs, nigga, you know what I'm saying? And to this day, I got credits all over your album, nigga. Your bitch say Lance Henry, nigga, my real government name, nigga. And I gave you my shit, nigga. Why you ain't checked for a nigga? So, uh, but you you weren't just on youngsters, so yeah, I, I was just you know I was really in the middle of accent, you know, my little partner youngster, man, you know, and that's my brother. You feel me? Right. I, you know, I was asking him like, bro, why nigga gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, ask you niggas about shit. Like, finish the story, right? So I sound like I say, damn, that basically I've lost to that. You, your word is your word. That's how Din Din. You know what I'm saying? He also dropped the album. That, um, a month later, I catch a pistol case. At this time, the album doing so motherfucking good, bro. Like they got this thing called a Heat Seeker. It's a magazine that go through all the major. It went through at that time all the major recording studios. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Yonsa was Yonsa dropped the same year Kiki dropped, and when Dr Pope dropped his first album, that hardest pit in the little. Everybody know that hoe was super hard. We was beating them niggas easy. Nigga, we was in the top 20s. Hmm. Like top, you know what I'm saying, youngster was new best artist type shit. You know what I'm saying? And I literally was on the phone and heard the voices of, you know, people from these record labels calling about youngster to throw young players. Uh, Arista, Sony, uh, Universal. Warner Bros, um, Epic, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, at that time, I ended up catching the case, you know what I'm saying? But it was understood that we was finna sign. We about to sign, we about to get some money. Right. I'm talking about nigga, it was, we was like literally touring, 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 whatever. We was all over, just all over Texas, man. Waco, back to uh, 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 Jasper, back to Louisiana. I'm talking about concerts, after concert every night, you know what I'm saying? And it was some typical, same story type shit, bro. They just pay a nigga some here and there, nigga ask for some money or something, you know what I'm saying? Because you, I, I sell it, I'm selling dope, so I ain't really asking for no money. You dig know what I'm saying? But when I need some money, you know, a nigga gave a nigga a little 200, 300, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, you know, that little shit that'll keep a nigga away from him, you feel me? And at the end of the day, you nigga start, you nigga realize that that's what it was back then. You know what I'm saying? I never got no real money. I never got shit. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, when I caught my case, and you know, I mean, I'm, I'm on the phone with little James. Them, you know, if I get rid of bond out and shit, I bond it out on my own. But to get everything clear, uh, only thing I got from uh, I got from straight straight profit, I got five thousand dollars. They paid my lawyer. Bro. They paid my lawyer for me. My lawyer got me the time. After that, I've never heard from them niggas again. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, ain't nobody checked for a nigga. These, but these niggas I knew I already damn near before the record label shit. You feel me? I understand everybody go through their own shit. You know what I'm saying? But somebody was supposed to check for me. Neither here nor there. Okay, boom. Y'all say I'm still pretty good. <clears throat> when you say check for you, you saying that when you were locked up. Yeah. Nobody sent you any money. Nah, nah putting nothing on your books. Nah, 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 man. I was in there with the gangsters and, and getting it on. You know trade the rapper. Tra 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 I was trade the street nigga when I came in that bitch. When I came, you know, when I came out at seventeen, I was a rapper. Right. I got a following. I got a little, you know, what I'm saying nigga be talking about. I need to drop. You know what I'm saying? And that's God work. That's not my. That's that's, that's my work that I put in. You know, I record, but that's God work to keep me relevant. You know what I'm saying? Cause when he when he bitch niggas that did that bitch shit fade away, I'm a, I'm gonna be ready. You know what I'm saying? Because now I'm I'm really just now working to, to you know, sharpen myself back up to the point to where, you know what I'm saying? I I understand the lay of the land of the 22, 23. Them niggas old, them niggas dinosaurs. That shit fade away, but now it's our time to kind of blossom, you dig what I'm saying? And take on that game and use that game that them niggas use negative against us. Try to, I'm gonna try to use that shit in a positive manner. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna show how niggas how not to get fucked. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna see, teach niggas how not to 
you feel as a sign with somebody and know they ain't get, you know what I'm saying? Know they ain't getting fucked because it's right there in the paper. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that didn't happen to me. But I don't want to go too far that way. I want to goddamn. Well, I wanted to ask, so there have been lawsuits brought about two straight profit, right, from your other label mates. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, know from a fact, you know so. Okay, let, let, me just, let me just go down the line real quick on um, some of these people and tell me if they if they um, mention like any names are familiar uh, okay so number one Trady Black One um, nah I can't never say if he did or not Lil Flex can't never say he did or not nah not sued but I'm saying I own the straight profit yeah, label yeah 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 yeah. okay Lil, yeah, Black One Lil Flex so okay Trady Black One Lil Flex Din Din who was the CEO right yeah uh, Big Demo That Boy Grace Big Demo wasn't a uh, he was straight proud. Okay. But but he had he had a dimension. He, he knew then he fucked with Dindy. Okay, he probably just had a little business going on zero. He wanted to introduce you know so the, the. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so zero. Zero signed with us in two thousand one. I was in the penitentiary. Okay. Uh Wood. Wood. Solo D. Solo D. Uh Okay, so all but all Kool-Aid, Kool there, there, there's, a, there's others, but this is the label, right? This is the, the label, label lineup. Yeah. Okay, all right, I just had to, you know, clear the air. Yeah. But, um, so others also sued. So Youngster sued. Yeah, Youngster sued. Uh, youngster sued a few times, I believe, man. See, the whole thing was like, niggas didn't have no system to pay nobody. They just, just had some hot talent and just was putting it out and you know they had a little group of niggas yeah one nigga named JJ that nigga went to TSU I think he was the the kind of like you know what I'm saying the brains to kind of navigate them niggas to cause them niggas were dope boys <laughs> niggas really ain't know the business like that they they got somebody they had somebody navigate through navigate them through it you know what I'm saying till they sharpened that shit up and use it for to a science you dig what I'm saying? Because I'm still trying to figure that. <laughs> my royalties. I'm still trying to figure that shit. That shit, that shit's something else, bro. That's something you got to know. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Zero had signed with us in, in 01. And uh, that's actually how, I, when I got out in 01, that's actually how I ended up getting on the record label with him because uh, I ended up getting on the record label with him because goddamn uh, all the other artists was not fucking with Dan. At the time, that shit was like, oh, we niggas were tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And Zero was, he came from another record label, so he already knew the business. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you really couldn't play with them niggas like that, as far as no business. But he played with the niggas anyway. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what type of nigga this nigga is. Like, I talked to him recently, you feel me? But I don't want to make this shit about him. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make it about him. You dig what I'm saying? So, I just really want to just, you know, get a history up, you know what I'm saying, because that shit going to handle itself. Well, so Zero also sued? I believe Zero did sue then not then folk. You know what I'm saying? I believe that, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe so. Now, I don't, you know, like I said, I've been gone. I, I, I really don't do, you know, the gossip. I ain't trying to, right. you know, do too right, much. Right, right. I was just trying to get the facts yeah, understood. Yeah, yeah, I ain't do too much about it, but. Yeah, so. He signed with us. I ended up getting on King to get up because everybody else, you know, was out of, out of commission, out of pocket, wasn't fucking around. I went up in there and, you know, that's then, then it introduced me to him and shit. We had an okay relationship, but 01 didn't go good. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the same shit. Niggas ain't getting paid. We going to concerts. Niggas way out in jazz, but niggas is frustrated. Zero the most. He making him say fly shit, make a nigga want to run in his mind, you know what I'm saying? Making him say a bunch of fly shit here once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Which I, which is understood, I get it now, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, niggas was frustrated, nigga was fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it happened, it went through, you know, after uh, Grace dropped his little album, shit, uh, me, him, he, I, I ended up giving Grace a, a song, I gave him a song called Can't Stop. Uh, me, him, and 3 2 did that. You know what I'm saying? Big Mo was supposed to sing, but Big Mo kept falling asleep on uh, on the microphone. <laughs> like, no cap, bro. Like, he was standing up, the, the little screen on the microphone. Big Mo kept got broke, bro, kept doing, 
Well, I can't. Uh, uh, Off the drink. Fall asleep. I'm in that hole looking at Grace through the window, like, bro, what you, what you want me to do? He like, man, nigga, that's your song. You better. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to push bro over no shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wake him up, dope, mo, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? He tried again. We, he never could do it. So I ended up getting this little female to do this shit for us. But, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a memory I got with them. You know what I'm saying? With them boys, man. It's a lot of shit. You feel me? R.P. Big Mo. All in all, man, you know, it was, it was, you know it's, a, it's a major experience, bro. But I never lose sight of the outcome. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. You, you can't. Like, nigga, it's in my face every day. It's like all this social media shit. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I, my shit all over Apple Music, my shit all over out of iTunes. Spotify, I just Googled you. iTunes, Spotify, you can Google, you can Google me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And nigga is gonna pop up. So like nigga, why I gotta reach out, you know what I'm saying? But that is what's the lay of the land, that is what it is. But I actually talked to you. I actually talked to this nigga Din two times since 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 I've been at. Yo, what did he tell you? What were the results of the conversation? An argument. No one went, went straight to the argument. You know what I'm saying? I'm under I'm under the bridge. I'm under the bridge selling dope. You know what I'm saying? That's what we sell dope on Club Creek. I'm under the bridge, I'm selling dope. I'm coming up out my phone ring. I'm coming up off from up under that bitch. And uh he like, bitch, what's up? Uh, what's up? I'm like, what's up? Who this is? I'm like, bitch, you don't know who this is? I'm like, I really know, but who is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's then. I'm like, damn, bitch, what's up? You know, it's been a long time. Nigga, I ain't seen him. Hey, fuck with a nigga? Yeah, fuck me, huh? I'm like, nah, bitch, what's up? You, you hey, what you gonna what you doing? I'm like, man, listen, man. Before we get into all that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, you see a big bro, all that shit. But I ain't little Lance no more, bro. I need to answer some questions. I need to answer, bro. I need to know what that contract consisted of. I need to know exactly what that bitch say. He get quiet, dude, like... Here you go. Yeah. Hey, same, same like these niggas. I'm like, what you talking about? You think I owe you some money too, bro? I owe you money too? I'm like, bro, I'm like, damn, you don't owe me nothing? You don't owe me nothing, nigga. 11 songs, documentary, credits, name all over this shit, credits on, on, on everything. My credits say credits too. Me, nigga, you don't owe me nothing? You just gonna keep taking that, huh? You just gonna just, this you, huh? That mail that's coming, that's yours, huh? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, you don't... He like, man, hey, nigga, he was doing woo. I'm like, damn, bro, this ain't... He just loud, loud, loud to the point to where now I'm... It's, I'm ready. I'm going to do something to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to see you in the streets, nigga, nigga, somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But, like I say, bro, I ain't going to make this about me having to kill no nigga, bro. You feel me? I'm going to make this about... The understanding that nigga, it ain't gonna go to rest, nigga. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm putting white people in this nigga like, it's the only way that shit gonna work, bro. Yeah, and it's sad you know that And it's sad, people. bro. I gotta, get, I gotta go into saying? the business with the white folks. I gotta put them people into our business. Right. I've been gone 17 years, nigga. Whatever y'all went through, that cr y'all crossed each other out so many times and pushed each other away and, and made that shit fall and did what you did. Whatever y'all went through, nigga, I ain't had shit to do with that shit. When I got out, nigga, ain't nobody say, you know what I'm saying? Even, you know what I'm saying? I know you niggas ain't super up. You niggas ain't on. And I ain't, I don't want nothing from the nigga that was in my position. I want something from the nigga that the business was. Nigga, that was in your name. Dennis Waddell, the business in your name, nigga. You and your wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I know all the business. I mean, names ain't never come up in my in my about nothing, nigga. I ain't cried to nobody about shit. You feel me? So, nigga, my truth is my truth, though. So it's gonna come out sooner or later, uh, and nigga, they gonna be at your door still serving your bitch ass, and that's just how it's gonna go. I'ma still have no hard feelings whether they tell me I win or lose, but I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna sit on my motherfucking hands knowing that a nigga goddamn trying to nigga just straight hoeing me. Right. Cause he think I'm a barbarian and I don't know no better. You feel me? Right. Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room.